The balance of power is also on the line tomorrow. Polls suggest Democrats will likely lose their control of the House. And tight races in states like Pennsylvania, Georgia, and elsewhere will determine whether they hold the Senate. KTLA's Pedro Rivera has a closer look at what's at stake. Pedro. November 8th will shape the look of Washington for the next two years. Republicans are expecting to gain control of the House and Senate, while Democrats are making their final push to remain in control. And the eyes of the country are on several states and several races that could sway the balance of power. To win control, the GOP would need to gain five seats in the House, making California Representative Kevin McCarthy Speaker of the House. And in the Senate, gaining one more seat would flip the Senate red. Georgia's on the mind of many in Washington as Republican candidate, former football star Herschel Walker, is in a deadlock race with incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock. I hope that people give me a chance to speak on their behalf for the next six years. In two short years, you see where Senator Warnock stands. You know, that's the reason we have this high inflation. That's the reason we have an open border. That's the reason you have the crime on the street. You've got, you know, hardcore Republican candidates that are running very conservative races versus very liberal or progressive Democrats. Political consultant Matt Klink believes voters will keep what he calls pocketbook issues on their mind when casting their ballots, and that may lead to a red wave come Tuesday. Inflation, high cost of living, increased crime. Midterm elections are always a referendum on the party in power. And in other key races, Democrat John Fetterman is going head to head with former TV doctor turned Republican candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz for its open U.S. seat. As of Monday, it's a toss up. I'm running to serve Pennsylvania. Are you happy with the way America is going? In Nevada, there is a closer than expected race between Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto and challenger Trump back Republican Adam Laxalt. A recent Siena poll had the candidates tied. If Republicans are able to gain control of the House and Senate, the GOP will determine which bills come to the floor. Biden will have to move more to the center to get anything done in Washington, with Republicans likely stalling gun control, abortion, and climate change reforms, and expect investigations into the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan and Hunter Biden to begin. Experts believe we could see a runoff in Georgia in the Peach State. Candidates must, must get 50% plus one vote on Election Day to win. If neither candidate gets that, we will have that runoff in December. So the Senate could be in limbo for several weeks until a winner is decided. However, most polls do expect the House to flip come Tuesday. Live in the News Center, Pedro Rivera, KTLA 5 News. Pedro, thank you.